Hello, day 12 for me, which means day 10 of walking in a row. We're going from Granyon, the beautiful little albergue, so that's highly recommended to go there. And we're going today to who knows where, because we're off script, we're off book. Hopefully not too far, to Santos maybe, 22 kilometers today. I will start the walk with my good friend Lee from South Korea, and we will... And, uh, we will uh, we'll take it very easy today, nice relaxed pace. And uh, we're going to hit the town in about 16k called Ballarado. We'll stop there and see what the plan is after that. There's a few people ahead of us. And in the distance, we'll zoom in and catch some of the other posse. A nice little salute that is. Jesus, you could be in the west of Ireland, lads, huh? Now, one thing on a serious note that I was thinking about is that even though everyone here is mostly in high spirits, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of pain in people here as well. I think a lot of people are coming from a place of either confusion in their lives, whether it be with career or you know, a lot of a lot of heartbreak as well. A lot of stories about that, and I think it's a lot of people who feel like like we all do at some stage in life that there's you know that there's a bit of a hole inside, and and this is a way to come and try and find it. So. It's as well as being a very very happy time. It's a very reflective and and it's a sad time, but that's okay, you know. Um, it's okay to try and try and uh, you know to come here saying that look, there's something there's something missing or there's something not right, and maybe finding a way to uh, find find solutions. Certainly, certainly a little bit like that for me, and uh, I hope it's I hope it's working. jacket on there really fighting against the wind today it's tough just kind of open ground open road I'm walking with Luis from Mexico uh, and very interesting to get uh, a bit more uh, of his life story and you know he's here he's done the Camino before and uh, he's back to do it again and uh, it's just really convinced me that Mexico has always been a place I wanted to go because of a hundred more like this, the story of San Patricio, the show that I've done. And uh, you know, I have an open invitation to come to Mexico now, so uh, Luis will be coming to Mexico. You can find us in the club, bottle full of food. So we're just coming into Belorado, which is good because it means only a couple of kilometers till we reach our destination of Los Santos. It's been to the side of the pond town for everyone. So everyone's kind of tired today. It is a Sunday. So uh, it's been a nice walk there. Luis here was just saying about last night. I actually missed out on it where they, they went for a prayer and meditation in the church in Granon. And everyone kind of in the dark and candles in their own languages said it's maybe one of the few other reasons why they were here and it made me feel a little bit emotional to be honest because you know uh, I just think that's that's quite powerful people being able to speak in their own languages and to be themselves and talk openly about something that's you know I don't know I just I'm, I'm sorry I missed that but uh, it made me think about maybe again the reasons I'm here on that level on a deeper level so very nice Little pit stop here, looks like. And then we'll go on. Come into a new village. Ali. Ali. We're just having a little potter around this village here now. Uh, actually, ran into another Irish guy back there. I call Deco. So that's the first one I've, I've uh, managed to meet. But here is Ballarado. Ali, what's what's? How are you feeling, Ali? I'm feeling good. Yeah. My feet are aching, but I'm feeling very good. Colorado. Yeah, just dealing with a few things. You know, tough day today. Not really the walking. It's just the the emotional side of things and life back home. And yeah, it's uh, it's part of this trip, I suppose. And 
uh, you just gotta go with it and see where it takes you. Dos Santos, which I hope will be the town that we decide to stop in. I think it depends on the albergue, whether it has washing and drying facilities. But I've done my little bit of self-reflection, I've done my little bit of... Uh, feeling a bit sorry for myself. Sorry, not all fun again. Now, we're going to uh, relax. Try and upload a few more of these vlogs. And, uh, to treat myself to some nice food tonight, I think. The boys are talking football there. One thing I'd say about Enrico, who you've got to know a little bit over the last few days, is that he's the biggest Roma fan I've ever seen. No. Fair play to him, you know. No. I'm going to buy him no. for his birthday. I want to uh, a Totti no. 25 year Yay. anniversary jersey signed by my good friend Francesco. I will talk with you. You me anymore. I'm done with you. <laughs> Uh, even from Britain. Ah, oh, mamma mia. <laughs> now, so, this is us. That point in our friendship. <laughs> That's it now. It's all fucking coming out now. <laughs> True colours are being shown. Uh, That's what the, this little town is. What this is to San to Santos. We didn't stop at Tos Santos, we kept walking to Espinosa del Camino. So it's a nice, very, very small little village. And we're going to stay in the Alberta church, I believe. Okay. Have to find it now. Oh, yeah. okay. No, I'm wrong again. This is Villambista. 1.6 kilometers to go until we get to the Alberta in Espinosa. I think that's what it is. We're off the map now, so John Broyley and his guide can come fuck off because we're not using it anymore. We're off script, we're off book. It's impromptu, no one knows what's going to happen next. The wild adventures. The wild adventures. Okay, but still. Okay, so we've reached Espinosa del Camino, very small, but hopefully the albergue is nice and uh, they'll do a meal or something for us. I kill for a, a slap of meal. Two days to Burgos, big city, rest day. And then we're just gonna eat the place. Drink the place right. Let's see it inside. Try and be more jolly. We are here in Espinosa del Camino. The albergue is actually lovely because you got it's not bunk beds, it's like a little two person room that I'm in with my own bed, which is nice. It's a lovely quiet little quaint town. The bar and restaurant are open. We're gonna get a meal at seven, uh, which is amazing. So I'm just here, I'm listening to demo, editing me vlog, uh, having a beer, a little catching the last hour or so of the sun. Oh, there's demo again, and uh, I'm just trying to uh, take it easy and enjoy this moment. So I hope everyone is doing well. Let's screw us ballin' Yep Get the Clean up yourself On the old triangle When jingle jangle All along the banks of the Royal Canal. Um, oh, yeah. They're all smoking, right? So, like, I, I, I don't know how to play. I have a beer, I have a bar, I have the Alberta, and we have Barca against Atletico. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'll finish this beer in a minute.
what market you want to do, sort of. And I have good company as well. I'm good for a year. Oh. You can't. We're saving K till the end. And we have to talk to Luis as well, because he's what? done the Camino twice, and he's from he's the Mexican guy I'm telling you all about. Yeah. But we're going to have the proper conversation with you one of the days. Okay, perfect. Because I, wanna, I, want qua- I want quality time for my viewers with these two. These two are very special people. Okay? So go on. Vamos.